Okay, we saw what they did to him. But I saw something in Donald Trump that was a fighter. He was a business owner. He was a man who loved the people, the American people and the American jury. He got in the race, and naturally, they tried to take him out. Our enemy is Donald Trump's enemy. Yeah. I'm not saying you got to like Donald Trump, but I'm going to say it's one thing you need to love this nation. Yeah. He loves our Constitution. He believes in our freedom, the freedom of expression, the, the right to bear arms, the Second Amendment, the one that takes all the other. Yeah. 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 Donald Trump in the White House. Yeah. 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 If we do, I think you'll see a cleaning out. I think you'll see a difference in Washington, D.C. Yeah. 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 He's going to bring an outside leadership, some of the best and brightest minds in the country. He's going to bring people to Washington, D.C. to run it like a business. Not like Washington, D.C. has been ran, but like a business. He's going to manage your money. He's going to guarantee your freedoms. He's going to build that wall. Absolutely. I'm encouraged. i got to tell you, this is a great turnout. The news yesterday was fantastic. Early voting that Trump is generating more turnout votes than, than Obama did in 08. Yeah. All right. Hillary's generating 5% less. I went to Auburn. Lock her up. 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 But that's a 10-point swing in the way you see it, guys. Don't let them discourage you. Y'all show up, you bring your fans, you vote. It's your nation's at stake. Y'all understand the Supreme Court has taken our freedoms away? Yeah. One step at a time. One step at a time, we've lost our freedom through political correctness and Supreme Court judges. Amen. You're right, political incorrectness. I think our leaders in Washington need a leader in a sense that whether it's uh, whoever you supported, if it's Ted Cruz or whoever that conservative that we sent to Washington, D.C. that could not stop Obama's agenda. They couldn't stop it. They didn't have a leader. I see those men uniting with Donald Trump and bringing conservative constitutional values back to this nation. That's going to make us great again. That's going to make our nation great again. And one thing, Chairman of Military and Veterans Affairs for Alabama like I am, Donald Trump loves our veterans. Y'all yeah. know anything about Donald Trump? That man respects our veterans. He loves our veterans. And we need to put somebody in the White House that will restore that respect for our nation, our Constitution, and our veterans. The men who love those men and ladies. So y'all show up on November 8th. Y'all follow me on Facebook. I'm doing... I'm day 19 of 30 days of prayer for our nation. All right. Join All right. me and let's win this nation back for this country, for our nation, for our people, for our children, our grandchildren. It's an important fight. Y'all engage with me. Let's win this thing. Absolutely. Absolutely.